there's been some huge news about upcoming changes coming to seven days in future alphas, including some accidental hints about possible fast travel. Stick around to find out how this might work and what you could expect from this all new feature. Let me know what you think of the upcoming changes in the comments below. And if you want to keep updated with all things seven days, hit the subscribe button right now. During the first Alpha 21 Developer Diary livestream, an interesting slip-up hinted at the inclusion of fast travel between trader outposts when the helicopter landing pad and ham radio set being shown off were mistakenly referred to as a teleport. And as we can see from Lathan's reaction, this wasn't supposed to be revealed just yet. Take a quick look at this clip. Yeah, yeah. so trader compounds have a new, uh, new models to surround it. It looked like they're made out of junk. They're pretty fantastic. So they're bigger. Uh, um, as you can see, there's a teleport, or I mean, a helipad that's, that you know has an Alpha 22 uh, kind of feature involved with it. We won't talk about too much tonight. Um, but lots of new signage, um, bigger compounds. It feels more uh, aligned with the RPG that Seven Days to Die is. So it seems like teleporting or fast traveling will be an upcoming feature, most likely in Alpha 22. As Rick does specify, this will be an Alpha 22 feature after slipping up and revealing this info. This feature seems to appear most prominently at Trader Outposts, which have all seen overhauls to their layouts and aesthetics, and do all feature a helicopter landing pad and ham radio set. Obviously, this is all speculation, but I'd imagine the fast traveling system will rely on player interaction with the ham radio set, where you'd be able to select a destination from the available traders and locations, and then hailing some kind of helicopter that will use the landing pad to pick you up and take you to your chosen destination. The way Rick used the word teleport could suggest that there will be no helicopter landing animation or interaction at all, and the player will literally just appear at the destination landing pad. I do think this teleporting could also work when interacting with a landing helicopter model to embark, and then appearing at the destination as well though. I personally don't think the idea that players will actually be transported to the location by some kind of helicopter model and disembarking on landing is very likely though, especially in random generated worlds, but it would be pretty cool. As this is clearly a huge time save and workaround to traveling long distances and dangerous territories, there will probably be some kind of cost or drawback to using this system. The obvious cost to traveling would be spending dukes or resources to bring the facility online, similar to crafting vehicles, by assembling parts, or simply just paying a fee to travel. But with the tiers quest system, there's also room for some kind of reputation system that increases with completed quests, like the tier levels do already. Eventually unlocking the travel option at individual traders, but as of right now, who knows. In some of the concept art for Duke's Casino and Noah's Bunker, we can also see the helicopter pads present too, which supports the idea fast travel is on the way in a future alpha and will work to connect trade route posts together and could also possibly be linked to the evolving story elements of the game. But this is a good indication that fast travel will work between all existing trader outposts as well as the planned Duke's Casino and Noah's Bunker points of interest. For now, I'm not too sure how I feel about fast traveling. While in theory it sounds great and I can't complain about new features, I feel like some of the most engaging and enjoyable aspects of Seven Days are those high pressure moments caught out traveling while night falls, far from your home base and struggling to get home in time. The suspense and drama of traveling great distances, the unknown outcomes you face along the way like running out of fuel or supplies, and being in the middle of nowhere are stories that can evolve for players organically, and a lot of that might be missed by fast traveling. With Rick stating that these landing pads connect to Alpha 22 features, I have to assume they're linked in some way to the new faction outposts like Duke's Casino, and have more importance than just fast traveling between traders leading back to the point about evolving storylines in Alpha 22. It's interesting to think about what this could all mean and how this changes the dynamics in the game, but also leaves me wondering if it's the right direction to go in when many of the changes to Seven Days so far have been focused on increasing the longevity and challenge of the game. Let me know what you think of the idea of fast travel in Seven Days in the comments below. Do you think it will take away from the suspense and risk of traveling the world in more conventional ways? And do you think we even need fast travel in seven days to die? And would you use it? 
If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all things 7 Days to Die and Survival Gaming. And why not check out one of my other videos on screen now. Goodbye.